Yes, we went shopping three different places, so yeah, lots of produce, but we eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. So we went to Aldi, Stop and Shop, and Veggie World. It's a local place. And now I don't remember where we got where. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I do remember some of the stuff. So the Nature's Promise is a Stop and Shop brand. We got some organic chicken broth. A container of Mighty's, a ripe and easy kiwi. Because I love them for breakfast with some kefir cheese. Some mini cukes. Lots and lots of oranges. Different kinds. Lemons. Halos. Nature's Promise macaroni and cheese. Um, I picked these up at Aldi Specialty Truffle Mac and Cheese and Sun Dried Tomato Mac and Cheese. Some uh, German pretzel crackers, onion spetzel, and a package of red lentils. Red split lentils. Some organic Chinese mung bean sprouts. Uh, I had a cauliflower, some pure cane sugar, a bag of avocados, cherry tomatoes, because they go with the avocados, some mushrooms, which I'm going to make dinner. Actually, I might do a bonus, show you a meal that I make tonight. Organic spinach, some artisan lettuce, artichoke hearts, baby dills, tomato paste. This is interesting. Lemon pepper. Uh, with a grinder, more oranges, more bananas, sesame melbarones, sour cream and ricotta. Oh, hold on, I'm trying to get to the good stuff over here. Um, dark chocolate almond toffee bites. That looks awesome. My favorite limon chips. This was marked down at Stop and Shop. It's the Pie Bites chocolate, white chocolate peppermint. Oh. Sorry about that. So um, butternut squash sage ravioli for an easy lunch for myself. Hubby got the smart one, which is broccoli cheddar roasted potatoes. Some, this is the only animal protein we got. So we got this flank steak ground turkey. Brown and serve. Uh, turkey sausage patties brats and this big thing of chicken is actually for our dogs <laughs> we give them well I make um, homemade dog treats so next I'm gonna put this all away and I'm going to share with you what we're having for meatless Monday dinner as a bonus stay tuned forgot to show you two more things these are peeled snacks peas please and Kale Chips Ranch from Simply Nature, and that's from Aldi. I have to say, this is, it's delicious, but for one serving, two ounces, almost three dollars, that's a little excessive. I could totally make them at home. Some green beans for tomorrow. Eggplant to make either eggplant caviar, which is a kra in Russian, or baba ganoush. And mushrooms I'm going to use for dinner. And check out our fruit basket. <laughs> it's stuffed to the gills. So here's your bonus. It's our easy, super easy, can't fail, can't really go wrong because it's basically like just boiling water. Um, meatless Monday meal. So I have pot-sized spaghetti, ricotta cheese, lemon, fresh lemon, zester, pepper, and a little olive oil. So bring up your pot to a boil, add some water, uh, some salt to the water, lower it, add your pasta. Eight, nine minutes later, depending on how al dente you like it, Drain in, add three quarter cups of ricotta, zest of one lemon. I'm having a, I have a behemoth lemon and I am going to use all of it because we like lemon. I might use a little bit of garlic powder in there as well. I'll show you what it looks like uh, next step. So I have a little tip for you guys. Um, I've just zested my lemon with this microplane and I'm not going to rinse it yet because I'm going to squeeze out the lemon through it. It'll catch the seeds. So it's going to do two jobs for the price of one and only one cool tool to wash. So, how easy is that? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, precisely. Rolling boil, pot sized pasta, in you go, easy. Tongs, mix so they don't clump. 
I don't put any wa uh, oil in my water because I want my sauce to stick to it after I drain it. So now I'm going to set the timer for 8 minutes. Pots has been drained. I added a little less than half of this 15 ounce container because, well, just about half probably. Um, it calls for 3 quarter cup and then I'm going to add some black pepper and then the lemon zest. So let's mix it all up. There's lemon zest and some of this lemon pepper from the grinder that I got at Aldi and then a little lemon juice. So here's my lemon squeeze and actually this lemon has no seeds and I'm going to need to do use both hands. So I'm going to get my reamer and maybe there are a couple of seeds. Let's see how it does double duty. Oh, seed. So it was... <laughs> My husband's laughing for me. Oh, Another hey, seed! Hey. It's all seedy to you, isn't it? So, oh, there were seeds, so there you go. So this was well worthwhile keeping that out instead of tossing it in the sink. So um, I'm thinking I need a little parsley in there. So that's going to be the next and last step, and then I'll show you, show you our meal served up. So there it is, all served up on a plate, piled high with a big fork. I did add some parsley and a little bit of the lemon zest on top so everybody knows what they're eating and everybody, I mean my husband, and a side of a beautiful little salad. Really easy meal on any weeknight or date night or whatever you may choose, meatless. So there you go, there's your bonus. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my Instagram account which has mostly food porn and pets. So links below in the description. Thanks for watching everyone.